And, and with your wrestling career, about the impression you made in such a short period of time, to this day, you're still the only female to to hold a real uh, non women's wrestling title. I'm not counting like the hardcore title or anything. So how does it how does it feel to still hold that honor? Oh well, it's, it's amazing. You know, looking back on it, I don't think I really realized. Uh, you know, every day, every day after the fact, I think I realized more what what that actually meant. You know, as far as like you know, wrestling fake or it's just felt or but to be able to do that on T V, on pay per view, have the fans accept it, be in that position in the first place, to carry to carry that position, you know, is what it's all about. So that part of it is all very real. Right. <laughs> and um I I think also just the time period for for all of that to happen when the business was you know, it's exploding and becoming something different, you know? Right. And, and a public company and a billion dollar business, you know, that I was a part of that at that time. All of it inclusive was just kind of an incredible thing. Right. And you, you won the Intercontinental title that was uh, back in 1999. Uh, how long before you won the title did you, did you know that uh, they were going to give you a run with the belt? They knew uh, we uh, we had been making moving in that direction, and um, so that was the first step. Um, I, I knew probably I don't know six months maybe that we were headed towards that direction, mm. oh, but wow. that but they were going there with me. And then, um, as a matter of fact, I think we were using that as a step to to go for the, you know, the world title, but then Playboy became part of the mix. Oh, God. And, you know, I don't, I think that's when the, the perception started changing a little bit, you know, because Vince didn't want a, a Playboy model then holding the title, you know? Right. Um, and that was... So all of that was kind of happening... That was, you know, because I was fighting for, you know, my femininity and changing and, and then finding my own style and niche, you know, and so there were a lot of changes happening all at the same time. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's been 16 years, like I said, you're still the only uh, woman to hold that title, uh, the Intercontinental title. Um, was there heat? on you for during your title reign that you knew of were, were guys jealous uh, mm. because that was back when it was no. really prestigious no, I mean not that I'm aware of I mean with that crew you know like I had all the support in the world from the guys I mean the reality of it is you know to the outside world people would always ask me aren't you a feminist or it's a, you know the girls would say oh you know China kicks butt and she showed that women can you know be strong too and all that stuff and I did do that but also I mean behind the scenes the reality of it is it was all those guys that I had done that behind the scenes and gained all their respect and they were the ones that you know held me up and made me shine as long as I could maintain that position so that was pretty cool yeah 